Hey everyone, Cat on here, and I just got this lovely guy in the mail. So let's pop him open and see what the sketch box for uh, March has in store. This is a special one for me because March is my birth month, so I'm really hoping for some really fun supply surprises inside. Let's see. Already off the off the uh, bat. I'm super excited. I'm really big into illustrations and comics and all of this. So right off the bat, this box definitely has a thumbs up for me. So we have the Istro and Wreckers for this month. And here is the list of what's inside the box. I'm super excited for every single thing in this box. I, I can't even explain how excited I am. So let's get started. Okay. So first up, we have the Marabou marker set. This exclusive sketch box, this sketch box exclusive marker set comes with two permanent markers, three alcohol-based markers, and a blender to help achieve subtle gradients. Let's get him open. Uh, let's see. So it's a nice box, and that's how it looks right inside. Nicely packaged. So, just visually right off, right away, we see that we have three alcohol-based markers and we have two permanent markers, a brown and a green. That's an interesting combination of colors there. You get some all of our warm tones with a little bit of the cool and the purple. And then we have a blender. Let's see how these go. Let's see, they start listing with permanent first, we're not permanent. So, here we have the permanent marker graphics and jade. Mm. Pretty basic tip, let's see, is it double tipped? It is double tipped. So, get the camera to focus on that, there we go. Very fine point on the back end and a nice felt point tip on the front end. So let's see, this is the Marabu. I'm right now using just a basic Bristol board, which is soaking up the ink very quickly. I'm very, barely touching it, and it's really just absorbing the ink as soon as it touches. So that is our fine point side. And here is our felt tip side. I know how to spell things. It's a very pretty color. It leads to sketching. So far, no qualms with it. It feels a lot like a basic uh, Sharpie marker. So nothing, nothing really jumping out at me there. It Because it's a permanent marker, I don't think it's gonna affect with the blenders, but we'll go ahead and try anyway. So here we have our brown, which is a cocoa. So as far as writing, they work really well. And of course, this one has both tips as well. I can see doing some lining and outlines with these. Yeah, no, I know how to spell. Nope, I do not. This is why I'm an artist, because my brain doesn't work when early. <laughs> So yeah, so both the points are very fine. They work really well in a sketching motif, but pretty basic. We'll see if they work uh, specifically better with our sketch mark marker graphics. Bring it up. So once again, we have a two point. It looks like we have a uh, point tip and we have a chisel tip. If you've ever worked with alcohol markers, um, there's two different styles that I found is people who are using it like this, where they're using it as like a, a marker and then you're going like this. This is a really pretty purple. And then you have the finer points for drawing. All of my alcohol markers that I use on a daily basis, um, are brush points, which I feel just have a better control when it comes between doing the detail to doing the area. 
So this again is our purple, which has a name of Bri Brilliant Violet. It doesn't have a very strong odor. A lot of the newer alcohol markers, newer meaning in the past decade, they don't have as strong as an alcohol scent. I remember as a child using my father's architect markers and they smelled so, so bad. <laughs> so here is our red, nice bright red. This red is called Cadium Red Middle. And it's got a nice lift to it and it's got a very solid line. And our felt tip is, as we would expect, very lava. And then we have our pink, which is called Permanent Pink, not to be confused with the permanent markers. And wow, is that bright. That's a very bright pink. Still, these colors are gorgeous and I'm very interested to see how they all work together. Seeing that they're a Sketchbox exclusive, it means that there has to be a reason these particular ones were picked. Um, right off the bat, I'm not seeing yellow or blue. We have some secondary colors, but usually when they give us a Sketchbox exclusive, they usually give us three tones. So let's see what else is in the box. Go with it, but before we get there, let's see how they blend. So we'll just start with some pink here. And we'll do some red. <laughs> we'll do some red on top. And then we'll just do a little bit of purple. Notes for all alcohol markers make sure the caps are fully on so they don't dry out like any other marker. Okay, so the last thing in the box was the blender marker. So let's see how that works. So the blender marker is a chisel and a fine point as well. And the idea is that this lifts the color to help blend it around. It basically adds more basic alcohol, but as you see, it's sort of lightening the color at the same time. And it could be that I'm not working fast enough a lot of the times I hear that people have to work really quick with the alcohol markers. With the Ohulu markers, I haven't had that much of an issue. I'm going to go back in with my pink and just see if I can blend the red out a little bit just to soften that edge. They're a bit chunky. I'm I'm not getting the gradients that I usually would with my markers, but it could just be the qual the uh, the type of ink that's in them and how they want to blend. I may be forcing my own style upon them, which is not useful. Okay, so moving on to the other things in the box. Our next one is a Copic Sketch, which you gotta love Copic Sketch. These things are really expensive. They usually run about eight dollars a marker. But what's nice about Copic is that they also offer refill packs and tip replacements, where some of those cheaper markers, uh, such as the Ohulu markers, uh, they're cheaper per marker. You can get them so they're as cheap as 85 cents per marker, but you have to always purchase them in their packs. They are not refillable, and they only have one reverse nib. Okay, so here we have our Pale Lilac. So we've got the very nice chisel. And as I mentioned before, this one has a brush tip. So instead of being a fine point here or between choosing either fine or this, we are able to use it more as a paint brush. So we can have some thicker lines and then easily adjust our hand and have some thin lines in here and have a nice blend. With all alcohol markers, as long as they're alcohol based, they should be able to blend with each other. So as we can see, this edge along the hot pink is toning down a little and taking on some qualities of the lilac. I like the fact that they've given us the purple with the lilac because that really gives a nice dimension if I only want to do a purple based image. Like if I only want to use these four colors, it'll really work nicely together. 
Speaking of more colors that work nicely together, we have Copic's other brand of marker, the Chow, uh, which as you can see right off the bat, it's uh, rectangular versus the oval of the sketch. I like the feel of the oval in the sketch. It's just a bit lighter, my hand's small, so it works well. I find with these thicker markers, I'm there's a lot of pressure at weird points in my hand particularly. So here we have the Copic sketch, we have the chisel and the brush point again, and it's in the color of Mallow. So let's see how Mallow looks. Oh, it is not a brush. I apologize. They look very similar, but it's not a brush. It is definitely a bullet point. It's a very close color to the sketch, the uh, the lilac color, and I like how it's going. This might be really fun to do like some purple clouds between these two, like use it with the darker purple for some shadows, and then if you bring in your the blender here. And just blend it out in some spits. I really like alcohol-based markers. I've only started using them about six months ago, but I'm really, really enjoying the time with them. So those are our two Copics from the box. Uh, our next is an AD Spectra. We have two. So here we have a walnut, which comes with a chisel and a brush. Indeed, it is a brush. Okay, so these will be our warmer tones in the lighter colors. This one has a very nice light reaction, like the tip of it reacts very nice and feathery. This would be really like good to do like hairlines and stuff like with. That's one other thing with the brushes. I think the brush points really help if you wanna do some feathering. And then of course, on the other side, we have our chisel. Very nice tone, very dark quality. So seeing that I always do a self portrait, I just need to take uh, thought into that. And maybe I won't do something where my skin is 100% colored in. And I might do something more that's gesture. The other spectrum marker that we have is uh, wine, which again is a chisel chisel and a brush and let's see we're running a little bit out of space and once again this is going to go really well with this purple and this is the nice in-between step between the red and the purple like the red and the pink felt a little bit out of place and honestly I'm curious I'm curious where the pink's gonna be it might come in really well as an accent in the overall image but it's a very interesting color palette. Very, very interesting coloring palette. I'm gonna have to definitely do some thinking about how I'm going to use them. And the second to last thing in the box is a nice little marker pad. So four by six, I love the four by six ones. So here you can see how it compares against other of the sketchbooks. This is by AD Markers, so by the same company who produces the Spectra set. Four by six, which means that you're gonna get, it's just a nice little pad that you can stick in your bag. Now I'm curious, when I work with this later, um, I'll give you a heads up. Alcohol markers bleed through the paper when you start working with them a lot. Um, a lot of the times, for example, with the whole Hulu set, they give you a sheet of basically silicone plastic that you can stick between your pages or to protect your surfaces and just catches the marker beforehand. If you're worried about your paint, about your markers bleeding onto uh, your surface underneath, whether that be your table, your workspace, um, or the paper below you, uh, I would suggest maybe just grabbing some wax paper and just creating a layer or uh, working on a thing that can be cleaned with rubbing alcohol. Um, this 
This in particular does not get clean with rubbing alcohol because it removes the actual um, paint on the thing, which is a fun thing to learn. Okay, so quick, oh, we are also have the amazing artwork. So as I mentioned before, uh, the purples and the pinks, she really has integrated this pink well into this piece along with some of the other darker tones, but she's focused primarily on this purple red set. She hasn't really touched the permanent markers and she hasn't really touched uh, the brown spectrum. Oh, she does have the brown spectrum along the outline here, but it works really well. This is a beautiful piece, very whimsical. And here is the artist info. Kinsley Zanzant. Oh, Kingsley. I'm so sorry, Miss, uh, Mr. Zant. So check out his stuff if you enjoy that style. And then we should have, <laughs> we got a really big sticker this time, guys. Really big sticker. Okay, in quick recap, because I know we're getting a little long here, we'll go in reverse. So we have the marker pad. We have the two spectrum markers in wine and walnut. Then we have the Copic Chow marker in mallow. We have the Copic Sketch marker in lilac, pale lilac. And then we have the Marlo Marabu marker set, which is Sketchbox exclusive, which includes the blender, a permanent pink, a condemium. Cadmium? Cadmium red middle and a brilliant violet along with two permanent markers in cocoa and jade. So if you guys are really into markers, if you're looking for a set to start markers with, this is a great box for you. And please don't be discouraged if it's not working how you would with a pastel or watercolor. These are semi-permanent but not 100% permanent. You can lift the color with the with the blender and you can blend the colors. Note, these two will not blend. Do not try blending them. Aside from that, this is gonna be a great box for anyone who's interested in permanent markers. And it's been a great time, guys. I uh, look forward to doing the March sketch self-portrait. So keep an eye out for my channel with that. And have a great day, guys. Absolutely great day.